Hi, my name's JP. I'm in Alameda, and in nine days, I'm going to be traveling. Is that an ant on my... Ugh. In nine days, I'll be traveling the world. Today is the morning of the yard sale. I already spent the entire morning putting up 25 signs around the neighborhood. So if no one knew there was a yard sale going on today, they're going to know now. But actually, because I put them up so early, uh, we got a bunch of people showing up way early. It's about 10 o'clock right now. The thing starts at 12. People are showing up before 9.30. So that's a good sign in terms of advertising, but maybe not a good sign in terms of timing. We'll see. So I just broke some bills at the grocery store and now it is time to get everything out onto that lawn. <laughs> Global lights. We sold a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we're, there's not that much traffic right now, but here's a tip. If you're gonna have a garage sale, put that on Craigslist because you know why? Because the people who want the best deals are gonna bum rush you right when you're supposed to start. And I made the mistake of having a, a garage sale um, on the day that daylight savings ended. And so everyone was coming at 11. The thing was scheduled at... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, there's like a cat on my leg. The thing was scheduled at 12. Everyone started coming at 11. We weren't ready. Everything was just in boxes. People started digging through the boxes. It was crazy. And all those people wanted everything for like 50 cents. So I just gave it to them because I have still so much stuff to get rid of. Oh my God, I have this table of books. I have so much stuff. But this was... This, I like, basically half of it's gone already. So, I'm happy about that. There's still a lot. Uh, and not, there's not likely going to be that many more people. It's getting colder, it's getting darker. Um, we probably should have had this a little bit earlier, but this is when we could do it. So, sorry. Sorry about it, kitty. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, so I just counted all the money and we just broke $300! Yes, I'm so excited. Yes, the stuff that I sold was way worth more than $300, but you know what? I need to get out of here in nine days and beggars can't be choosers. Hey, when you buy something, you have to know that the value of it's gonna go down significantly. And whatever, $300, that's not quite a month in Thailand, but it should get me by for like about a week and a half, which is not bad. Um, I sold my stuff for a week and a half in Thailand. Why not? Let's do it. Let's just, let's just go with it. So I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to deposit this cash yet because I do know that some vendors actually do take US dollars in Thailand because there's so many Americans going there. But now I have to take down all the signs, get some food, and shower because I, I have not showered today. I'm funky, I'm tired, and I'm hungry, and I'm thirsty. I'm really thirsty. Okay, bye. Globalites, I am so tired. This time change is throwing me off a little bit. And plus, I've just been running around all day like a chicken with his head cut off. Stuff costs a lot more than just the price tag at the store. Because not only does the stuff become less valuable the minute you buy it, but you have to haul that stuff all over the place for as long as you want to keep it. The cost of moving all this stuff and then to not make that much money back on that stuff when you finally are ready to get rid of it. It just goes to show that stuff is expensive. And not only is stuff expensive, but stuff doesn't really matter after a certain point. Now, me purchasing these things at some point had meaning for myself. It made me feel better, it made me feel like I, I got something that I wanted, it made me feel connected more to my identity in some ways, but now that I've gotten rid of all this stuff, I don't really care what I got rid of today. <laughs> I don't even know what I got rid of. Nothing that I sold today really mattered that much, which is 
even more of a reason why doing what I'm doing now is going to really put me in a place where I want to be. To be free, to not have clutter, to just go where I want to go without being dragged down. And if I ever come back and settle, which is a, is a possibility, you know, travel might not be the thing that I do forever, I'm never, ever going to accumulate this much stuff ever again. I'm not. I'm going to have the stuff I need to have. I'm going to have the stuff that might make my, my life a little bit easier. But I'm not just going to have stuff to have stuff because that, that doesn't mean anything to me. And the cost of having that stuff takes away from experiences that you could have out in the world with human beings and in beautiful locations. Anyway, I'm running low on fuel, guys, so I need to get to bed. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, follow me on all the social medias, and subscribe because I'm going to be posting videos every single day until my big trip to Southeast Asia. All right, well, thank you all for watching, and until tomorrow, get off the couch and go do great things. Bye! <laughs>